Good afternoon, everyone. This is Makarko, and today I'd like to bring to you a solution to the little old warrior and demon hunter problem that's been plaguing the ladder recently. So the deck I'd like to talk to you about is Shellfish Priest. Now, I know what you're going to say. Shellfish. Shellfish Priest. That's that, like, shitty mill deck. I am go on HS Replay, and you'll see tier 3, 48% win rate. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, no. I mean, maybe it's just my own personal experience, but I think this deck is deceptively a lot better than people are, at least the people that are playing it right now. Um, I do think there's a lot of room for uh, skill with the deck. I mean, ultimately, you're trying your best to get as many uh, shellfish out, uh, and then resummoning them with your death rattle summoning uh, spell. Oh, and then following up with the Zyrella if you need the OTK. Uh, though most games don't even need it, because turns out summoning infinite 7-7s seven um, is usually good enough. Um, so this deck is a lot better than the stats give it credit. I'm currently about 8-2 and two with my current version, uh, and one of those two losses was from both Shellfish being in the bottom four cards of my deck after using both Citrus and basically all the draw of my deck. A uh, really unlucky game. But here's the list. Um, it's a pretty standard list, but I think it has a lot going for it. So, deck itself has excellent draw. You are going to draw through your entire deck, no problem. Uh, cards like, I mean, first off, just really nice having all these um, tradable cards. Uh, makes it really easy to kind of cycle uh, for your cards um, that you really do need, because uh, both shard and uh, Amulet of Undying, well, you don't need them right away. You just throw them away for a better card. Uh, and, I mean, with all the tutor in this deck, between, like, Thrive and Shadows and Cleric, the Cleric and Illuminate, it's and even Switcheroo, you're able to consistently get all the cards that you need for basically any situation that you encounter. Um, now, I know what you might be uh, first thinking is, well, don't you just get run down by Demon Hunter? This is like a slow deck, control deck. And uh, surprisingly, you don't. Um, now, given there are some cards you do need to fish for in the early game, but um, thanks to spells like Whispers of the Deep, if you're able to get an early Shellfish out, or even hold on to a Light Maw Nether Drake, uh, you can really take care of the Demon Hunter's board and throw in with the good amount of healing in this deck, you're able to continually answer the Demon Hunter's threats while slowly pumping out 7-7 seven, seven after 7-7. Seven, seven. And you know, sometimes you don't, you aren't able to silence it and your opponent's able to draw too off of it. That's not even that big of a deal because that 7 damage that would have went into your face otherwise. Um, so right away, the Demon Hunter situation and even the aggro situation with things like uh, Quest Hunter, uh, you are able to just out survive them and slowly kill them off with either threats from your 7-7 or you do the mill OTK. Um, likewise, uh, on a different front, uh, for control decks, uh, for control things like Control Warrior, um, Control Paladin, Control Priest, uh, surprisingly this deck is a lot faster than any of those decks. Um, I know Control Warrior you can almost argue is somewhat of a, a value deck in a sense. Um, a lot of their win conditions are ultimately uh, getting pirates off of Nelly or uh, winning with the Kazakusan, um, Kazakusan uh, treasures, or I guess maybe doing some Finley uh, from the depths uh, shenanigans to get some stuff out early. But I mean, ultimately, you're it's a slow game plan unless you get crazy RNG with Nelly. Um, likewise, same thing with Paladin. Uh, they do have an OTK, but it requires quite a long time of buffing up their. Um, buffing up Mr. Smite, uh, and because they're control decks, their hand is often very full, um, making it very awkward for them to deal with your shellfishes, uh, especially if they're not silenced. Uh, one of my main focuses against Warrior is, well, you just fill your board with five, like, if you fill your board with five unsilent shellfishes, that's... Like, really problematic for the warrior. What's he gonna do? Brawl? Well, he probably has, like, seven cards in hand, because you're just not playing a lot of threats for him to waste his cards on. So he's, like, milling, like, 
eight cards just from clearing that board bring him way closer to like way closer to fatigue and then Zyrella just swings in for the finish um so i mean realistically i genuinely don't believe that this deck has much of a weakness um it's uh, very well rounded and i'm hoping that in the upcoming footage uh, you can agree with just how good this deck tends to be enjoy the games take care Take it easy. Thanks. I think I'll be pushing to plat and then calling it a night. You know, the ideal situation, I win two in a row and it's easy peasy. Ah, perfect. Gotta love the control matchup. So, opener, you're always wanting to keep switcheroo. It's, I mean, you don't really have much synergy with the swapping health, but three mana draw, two for priest is good. Likewise, Light Maw is good if it happens to be Pirate Warrior. Besides that, the switcheroo is good. There is like a almost an issue. The one issue I have with shellfish is you almost have too much draw in the sense that so many of your cards either are like even or give you card advantage that it's really hard to empty your hand. Especially if you're going against a stupid quest lock, curse lock that decides to just uh, mill you permanently. Gotta hit them with the good old. Gotta bless him, you know. Be a good neighbor. Be a good priest. And we hit him with the switcheroo. Okay, actually, I will say there is some synergy in the sense that you're able to put the 7 health. You're almost always silencing uh, your shellfishes. Um, so you're essentially giving a free 7 health to another minion, um, which can make it a bit more awkward to deal with. He's not going to let me... You know, I'm just going to do this to empty my hand. Because if I don't do this, I'm going to run into an issue. Okay. I'll just do Whispers from the Deep. Ah, oh, good question. Now, Desperate Prayer is going to be just wasted. I don't believe he's going to actually deal much damage to me. Whereas Whispers of the Deep is one of the few good removals this deck has. Well, not few, but... You know, it's pointless, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, no, no, it's not pointless. I get to draw an additional card. Might be a bit early, but I think I'll go with the Illuminate. My plan is to hit turn 8 and get the Silence on the Shellfish. Because I think in this matchup, I kind of need to get a lot of Shellfishes into my res pool. And in fact, if he actually draws a card, that's to my advantage. Damage-wise, I'm not worried about, like, this deck 
can pump out a lot of damage if you get like the full combo or whatever off. Interesting conclusion. Do not expect to see that card in his deck. Ooh. Now he still has coin in hand. God, I kind of want to keep this in case Nelly comes down. I'll deal with it. Oof. Do I need the extra draw three? Yeah. I'm tempted to just throw this out early, but... The draw is still important. I just need to be able to clean my hand. Ooh, Rokara instead. And he doesn't swing face. Nice. Nice. Nope. I still want to hold out, but... Actually, I'll keep, I'll take Shard. There's a chance he drops Nelly this upcoming turn. Also on the bright side, I'm actually going to be able to uh, heal because this thing's getting, this thing's getting sent right into my face. Yes, keep drawing, keep drawing. Interesting. Not comboing that from with from the depths. Someone's desperate. Now is where the fun begins. Ooh. Yeah, okay, swing it in. More armor. More armor? That's playing a bit too much into Brawl. So instead... I'll summon... a single copy.
Ooh. Wait, is she insane? I don't think that was the play, Chief. Gold ranks. I mean, okay then. We got the Zyrella? Frankly, I just want to draw my deck at this point. <sighs> Why is he drawing even more? Does he just not have his, like, Kazakusan or whatever? Or does he not have Brawl? I mean, I swear to God, I, I just won this game from outright milling him. I mean, not even milling him. I'm just going to win the game by killing him with 7-7s. Seven Wow, that was kind of desperate of him. Don't really have the ability to heal much more than that, but that seems like good value. Oh, that's kind of unlucky. All my resummon death rattle minion cards in the are in the bottom six. There's the brawl. And he's drawing again. Okay. Well played. And remember, if you're ever getting bothered by those pesky warriors, just play Priest. 